Well, hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I attempted to paint this Vincent Price model, which as far as I can tell was sold as a finished piece of wall decor instead of an actual model kit, but it's a pretty decent likeness of him. After dusting him off and priming him, I could see that there were a few air bubbles in the resin, but I filled them in as much as I could and moved forward. Initially, I was feeling ambitious and tried to do this neon undertone technique using contrast paints, but I think I might have trusted the process a little bit too much. I probably should have used the airbrush, but at this point it was what it was and I just had to keep going. There wasn't a lot of detail sculpted into the model itself, so I did my best to paint in textures and keep the edges neat, and in the future I'd really like to find a faster, cleaner way to paint because this took forever. I used a micron pen to neaten up some of the edges and feather out his hair, and I'd really like to experiment with doing a more cell shaded look, but I don't think that really would have suited this model, so yeah. I did want the collar of his coat to look like it had more of a satin finish, so I used a black metallic enamel paint from Tamiya, and that was the most satisfying part of this project. I gave him a protective coat of spray varnish and it came out way too shiny. Don't ask me why I didn't use something with a more matte finish, I probably just grabbed the first clear can I could find and luckily we had some sand pigments that I was able to use to powder him down a little bit. I was kind of hoping that I could use some eyeshadow pigment to get the look of blue undertones under his eyes, but they really didn't blend out well so that was another failed experiment. I put a coat of dark blue contrast on his hair, and I think it reads more in person than it does on camera, but I wanted it to be subtle anyway. The little medallion got painted gold, I went over everything with a blue wash, and at this point I decided to call it a day. He looks a little cakey and cartoony, but he did wear a lot of makeup on screen, and this was my first real attempt at painting skin tones on a model, so I definitely learned a lot. Anyway, you can find all of the products featured in this video at our website, hardknocksgames.com. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!